have a question for you today. Do you ever think about what you think about? Okay, that's deep, right? Do you ever think about what you think about? Last week, we talked about health goals, wellness goals, weight loss goals, fitness goals. This week, I wanna talk about mindset goals. To think about what you think about is called metacognition, big word. We don't even have to worry about the big word. I'm gonna make it easy for you. I want you to think about a time that you went to a scary movie or watched a scary movie at home. Scary movie, okay? Now you get home from the theater. You forgot to leave lights on. You walk in the house, it's pitch black. What's the first thing you do? Turn on all the lights. Why? It was a movie. It wasn't real, it was a movie. Okay, all the lights are on and it's time to take a shower. Um, the shower curtain or the shower door is closed. You walk into the bathroom, what do you do? You open the shower curtain or pull back the door because you're a little bit apprehensive. Why? It was a movie, it wasn't real. Now I could go on and on walking into a dark closet or you know getting into bed and, and kind of hearing all kinds of sounds. I mean, what's the deal? It was a movie. But your mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's imagined. Your mind thinks that what you perceive is real. Your mind doesn't know the difference. Your mind sees in pictures. So let's set some mindset goals. I want you to ask yourself if you would be willing to invest, I don't know, the next three hours in only speaking about things you're grateful for, only speaking about things you want and your goals and what you want to achieve. No negative talk, no complaining, no victim language, no blaming. And if you catch yourself doing that, that's metacognition. That's to think about what you're thinking about. Catch the negative thought and turn it into a positive or just change the thought to something positive. Why would you do this? Because your mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's imagined. So if you're pouring the negative language forth, you're playing that over and over in your mind. You're reinforcing to your mind the things you don't want. But if you'll talk about the things you do want, the things you're grateful for, well, that's, that's those neuro pathways metacognition, to think about what you think about. I want you to think about a goal that we've talked about over the time that we've had together, together over these weeks, and I, I want you to think about why you want the goal. Why? That's it. One question. Why do you want the goal? And when you've got that answer clear in your mind, I want you to say, okay, why? So you ask the why question, you get the answer, then you ask why again. Why do you want to lose weight? Well, because I want to feel better. Okay, why? Well, because I, I want to be able to get up in the morning and not have pain. Okay, why? Well, because my grandkids come over and, and I don't want it to hurt. I want to be able to play with them and get up and down on the floor. Okay, why? Because I'm not going to have forever with them. And I want them to remember me as the Mimi who could play and run and laugh and live life. Ooh, see, now you're getting to an emotion. I call this the five-year-old why, because five-year-olds say, why, 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 why? So when you'll ask yourself the why question about a goal, it sends that message to your brain. And when you hit the one that's emotional, whoo, when you connect emotion to a mindset, it's a power that draws you forward. It's the five-year-old why. Ask yourself what you think about because mindset goals are more important than any other goals because mindset is what drives all the goal achievement at fullyalivegoals.com. We'll go into more of this. We're gonna help you plan your mindset goals and help you think about what you think about and help you get your mind thinking about the stuff you want because that's how you achieve it, fullyalivegoals.com.